Hello there everybody, it is me Fizer Bunny, and welcome back to another Sims 4 speed build. So today we're building a Spanish style house here in Oasis Springs. Um, I haven't quite decided on what to call this house yet, so for now we're just gonna call it the Spanish Revival Dream. I might change that name if I come up with something better, but that's what we're gonna call it for now. Um, this house has a total of three bedrooms and three and a half bathrooms. And it was mainly inspired by old Hollywood glamour mixed with a little bit of modern touches to it as well. Um, I imagine the person living here to be somebody working in the entertainment industry. I think this house would be perfect for an actor or like a director or maybe like a writer or like a casting agent or something like that. I don't know. But the person living here, I imagine, lives by themselves, um, but really loves to throw out parties and occasionally likes to have family members come over to stay as well. So there are some guest bedrooms and there's a lot of space to really throw those really grand soirees if you guys got what I mean. Um, so if you guys follow me on my social media you would know that this build has been in the works for let's see the past three weeks or so. Unfortunately um, I really wasn't able to do much the past week because my parents celebrated their wedding anniversary with my brother and I and we really didn't have a lot of time to do anything but we had a lot of fun and um, I'm so excited to finally be able to share this house with you guys because I know that this is a very highly anticipated build of mine. Um, so really the focal point of this house is this really grand staircase area that pretty much occupies one entire wing of this house. Like literally this one main wing right here that we're working on right now is just the staircase area. And the main reason for that is because the staircase is just so complicated. Um, it takes up so much space. Um, in case you guys can't tell, I built it on a diagonal. We don't have diagonal staircases in The Sims 4, but the house itself is built on a diagonal, which makes the stair which makes the stairs look like it's on a diagonal, and it's really, really grand. It's really stately, and I really, really like how you know really luxurious and glamorous it looks. So I knew that I had to have that from the very beginning. Actually, this whole build was predicated on having that staircase like that and in case you guys missed it originally i was planning to have two flights of stairs that are symmetrical to each other but i felt like that was just a little bit too um grandiose <laughs> even for this type of house so i ended up um just going for one flight of stairs which i thought was a very interesting result i actually am really happy with that results because I ended up filling in this space that would have otherwise have been occupied by the other flight of stairs into a living room which actually turned out really nice. Um, one other special feature of this staircase area is the landing is on kind of like a semi-circular curved balcony. Um, I thought that that was really, really unique and really glamorous. I've seen that in many kind of like, you know, Spanish style houses like these. So I knew that I wanted to incorporate that. Um, so for the outside, um, the main challenge for this build was actually building everything on a diagonal. Um, yeah, it was a little bit of a nightmare. <laughs> it was incredibly complicated and it gave me such a headache to figure out what the shape of this build was going to be because in case you guys didn't know, building on a diagonal in The Sims 4 is, um, yeah, it's, it's, it, it's such a challenge. <laughs> it is very much a challenge, but I think it turned out um, really nicely in the end. But yeah, it was very challenging since the majority of this build was built on a diagonal. So that was really, really um, <laughs> challenging. I know I've said that like many times, but especially when it came to the floor plan. Oh my gosh, like, can you guys imagine how much time it took me to do the floor plan for this? Like, it's crazy. Um, I did want to make sure that some parts of the house was not on a diagonal because there's just some rooms that are nearly impossible to build on diagonal spaces like kitchens. 
Um, so I wanted to make sure that we had enough room for that, but there's also some like octagonal bits as well, which I feel like are also kind of like a staple feature of like Spanish houses like these. So there's quite a few of them. Um, in front, there is this very prominent kind of like corner tower, which I've seen a lot in these like Mediterranean style builds. So I knew that I wanted to have that too have something that was more um, prominent in front because otherwise it would have been very plain and boxy. Um, so yes, it's been a really long build actually. I took my time to finish this but in the end I'm super super proud of it simply because I was able to showcase a lot of new techniques that I don't think I've ever seen before, or at least I haven't done before. Um, but I wish I could have gotten this out much sooner for you guys, but in a way, I'm happy that I'm able to put this out right now because if I publish this in my original scheduled timeline, I wouldn't have gotten to talk about some new developments when it comes to The Sims 4. In particular, the recent announcement that a new expansion pack was going to come out later this year, which is The Sims 4 Get Famous, and I couldn't imagine a better style house for this expansion pack. Um, I don't know why, but I came up with this build before they made the Get Famous announcement, so you guys know what this means, right? I am actually psychic. <laughs> Not really, I, I just felt like it was normal for me to come up with this because it has been a while since I built anything here in um, Oasis Springs. Like, I have built the modern house here before like my previous builds which was a modern house collab with Mr. Olkin I built in Oasis Springs but um yeah it's it has been a while since I've done builds in Oasis Springs so I don't know I, I feel like this this house is just super super perfect for you know get famous and I cannot wait for that expansion pack I'm so happy that we're getting new active careers which are one of my favorite aspects of The Sims 4, so I'm really really excited to dive into that. Um, but back to the build, I'm making this kind of like entrance, I don't know what to call this, it's not a courtyard, it's kind of like this driveway I guess. Oh my gosh, speaking of driveways, I'm not sure if they were alluding to driveways, but in the previous Maxis Monthly that they did, they probably hinted on driveways, I'm not sure, um, but I'm so excited for that as well. This house doesn't have a garage though, but it, but it does have this really beautiful driveway, um, which I feel like does make up for it. Also, one really interesting omission from this house is actually glass roofs. Yes, glass roofs are nowhere to be seen in this build, which is quite refreshing when you come to think about it because literally the past couple builds that I've done ever since Seasons came out had glass roofs. So, you know, it's good to, you know, try new things once in a while um <laughs> so yeah that was a pretty interesting um lack of a feature if i do say so myself <laughs> so um you know what this is a crazy idea but i don't know what i was thinking when i did this but you guys if you if you've already seen like bits of this build you would know that you know this grand staircase area is already pretty crazy and elaborate you know it's a two-story high room it has this diagonal staircase it has this curved balcony and for some reason i decided to make a sunken living room like what the hell was i actually thinking like this build especially this part of the build came out so freaking complicated that my game actually crashed <laughs> three or four times i'm not even kidding like especially as i was incorporating the fireplace you guys will see that i will incorporate a fireplace in a little bit and basically having to incorporate that fireplace i had to edit the up the upstairs part where like the balcony is and every time i would mess with the balcony area the game would just crash because i felt like it was way too complicated of a space so that was um quite um challenging if I do say so myself but nevertheless I was able to get past it and I did not compromise on my design I knew that I wanted to have that fireplace because it makes it 
better in my opinion so i insisted on having that fireplace but yep for the interior though i went for kind of like a spanish inspired look but also something that was a little bit more modernized and contemporary there i am i'm trying to incorporate that fireplace um so yeah this is probably like my third or fourth attempt at incorporating that but like i said earlier i think the fireplace really completes the look like without it it would look so much less nicer if you guys get what i mean so um the thing about this space is that yes it's incredibly big but there's also a lot of like I guess wasted space um so on the sides i put like this little music corner right here where there's a grand piano and there's like this kind of like i don't know dining reception area i don't really want to call this the dining because there is an actual dining room but i imagine this area to be a place where you would you know serve refreshments for your guests and stuff like that maybe if there's like a cocktail party that this would be like where the buffet is or something i also really enjoyed using those palm trees that came with movie hangout stuff like i've been using those in a bunch of my recent builds and they look so good like i wish i could use them a lot more in my other builds but they're just way too big so yes right now we're working on the dining room which is actually a room that i really really liked working on in the end especially because i was able to incorporate this feature wall right here um which has a beautiful red wallpaper and i i really really like the look of this feature wall like the red color i thought was so beautiful and it just made this space look so much nicer um and yeah i'm putting my usual kind of like tropes i guess <laughs> my usual go-to techniques when it comes to decorating um dining rooms which are basically these um console tables with some shrunken floor lamps like these i thought that they looked really good i really really like doing that technique and i also used that beautiful kind of tapestry type wall painting from uh jungle adventures as well this level of the house also has a lot of ceilings using spandrels. I wasn't able to do that upstairs, so the ceilings for the upper levels will be made out of shelving, but for this ground level, there are some rooms that have spandrels as ceilings. Um, so right now we're working on the kitchen, and this is the room that I knew that I need to make into a straight room, <laughs> not a diagonal, because it would have been so, so difficult to build a diagonal kitchen. Like, it's doable and it's functional, but I felt like um, I didn't really want to, you know, murder myself <laughs> doing that. So yeah, we're just doing this, you know, basic-ish kitchen. I tried my best to make it look as Spanish inspired but not really in a way that's like super literal to the point where it's kind of like a cliche you know uh, i still wanted this to come across really modern and contemporary and really realistic as well so i'm using a lot of wood and some occasional touches of some tropical plants here and there some splashes of color and this room will also have a truss ceiling from spandrels as well which i thought really really completed the look but yeah i did use quite a few jungle adventure items over there just to um you know make it look a little bit more spanish inspired right now we're working on the room i imagine to be kind of like the guest bedroom i guess um Basically, the person I imagine living here likes being by themselves, but occasionally has like family members coming over. Maybe if their parents are coming over to stay, this is where they would stay. So it's kind of like a really, um, I don't know. I don't know how to describe it. It's kind of like a showy bedroom, if you guys get what I mean. You know how like you want to show off in your like 
guest bedrooms like i don't know it's 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 one of those kinds of bedrooms where you like show off stuff so it's very appropriate to the theme like thematically it fits so well with like the spanish aesthetic because of the colors and because of the furniture and stuff i feel like this is actually the most spanish looking room in the entire house because the other ones are a little bit more modern themed um, but this one, since it's not really um, used that often, I thought that it would be a great place to, you know, show off to guests. Um, maybe during parties, they would entertain here as well and stuff like that. So, yep, we're just putting in this kind of like entertainment area in one corner of that room. And I felt like this empty wall right here needed like a statement painting. So I ended up going with these dogs playing don't wake the llama i think that is um so i thought that that painting was so good for that place i'm not sure if you guys caught that but i also threw in like a foosball table in one corner of this um staircase landing and then we are just we're just you know throwing in some bunch of clutter items as well now this is a particularly complicated part of this house. Like you guys, this is probably my third attempt at doing the floor plan for these upstairs bedrooms. Basically, I was able to fit in two bedrooms in this area, but oh boy, planning this was kind of crazy. It almost drove me insane. It was such a complicated shape, especially this transition area between the diagonal part of the house and the straight part of the house. Like, it was so, so difficult and tricky, but I survived, um, so at least, uh, yeah. This house does look really good. It, it feels really good to play in as well. Ooh, my voice cracked. Um, but yeah, overall, it was just really complicated to lay out, but... It, it still was a lot of fun to build and it was definitely really challenging as well. The room that we're working on right now is the master bedroom and I gotta admit that this room turned out being more modern than probably what I would have wanted from this Spanish style house. I kind of wish I was able to make it more Spanish inspired. But that being said, I feel like I was able to incorporate some spanish themed furniture like some you know palm trees and that beautiful caribbean themed wallpaper that i feel like really ties this room in to the rest of the house i was also able to use that shades lounge sofa from i don't even know what that sofa came with but yeah i was able to use that i don't use that sofa that often though so i'm really happy that i was able to use that in this room and you guys might notice this becoming very much a trend in my past couple of builds but i've been really enjoying putting paintings on the ground more so than on the wall like there's a bunch of paintings in this house that are intentionally placed on the floor. There's also quite a couple that are placed, you know, on eye level, but I feel like just putting them on the floor makes it a little bit more fresh and modern. Um, and yeah, of course, no master bedroom would be complete without a walk-in closet. So that was what I was trying to do here. So there is this beautiful walk-in closet with this really nice mirror. I really love that mirror. I put it on the diagonal. And then we have this clo this closet and a vanity table as well, which I feel like this might be a little bit small for like celebrity, but you know what? It is what it is. At least they still have a, you know, a walk-in closet. Um, so I wanted to include some footage of me actually putting in some clutter items because I really, really enjoyed personalizing this space. Like just from this set of clutter items, I think you could already tell that this person is very like laid back i guess they like pastels um they like working on their computer from home and they like to travel as well i've been loving doing this thing where i put these postcards on this corkboard i love it i feel like it just gives so much personality to the space if you have that uh, and right now we're just working on the master bathroom. Um, this is the only bathroom that we're going to be furnishing. Uh, yeah, unfortunately all the other bathrooms I had to cut out because the build was 
becoming a little bit too long for what I'm comfortable with putting out. So I was only able to include one bathroom furnishing part, but nevertheless, I think this is my favorite bathroom. I think it turned out looking really awesome. I love the different furniture items and how they came together. And once again, I'm putting in a lot of like palm trees just to hammer in the fact that this is supposed to be kind of like a South American Spanish inspired uh, house. I really really like it. This bathroom ended up looking really glamorous as well so I felt like this is really really appropriate for like a celebrity or like a director or something like that. And we're just throwing in some more clutter items to add some more detail to this staircase landing area. And I was debating on whether I wanted to include this footage of me, you know, furnishing this teen bedroom. But I ended up including it because, you know, why not? I'd like you guys to see as much of the build as possible. So I did include this teen bedroom. Once again, this isn't necessarily like a room I imagine would be a permanent bedroom for like a teenager, but the person living here, I do imagine them having like a teen sibling, which occasionally stays with them, you know, once in a while during summer break or something like that, um, or like during like the award season. I don't know. I don't know how Hollywood works, but yeah, I feel like this would be a good room for their teenage sibling if they're looking after them and stuff. So to contrast with the predominant color scheme of this house, which is mainly warm colors, I chose a cool color scheme for this room, which I felt like really balanced everything everything off and gave some more variety to the color schemes so I went with a lot of blues and cool colors for that one. So at this point I think most of the interior has been furnished and now we're moving on to furnishing the outdoor garden and backyard area. Now this is where I decided to actually fence in this backyard area because I felt like being in Hollywood or like in LA or something like that. I feel like they would really appreciate some privacy. So that's what I was trying to go for. Um, and then we have this beautiful swimming pool and of course a giant like porch slash patio area perfect for like, you know, parties and stuff like that. There is a hot tub. There's also like a day bed. I really, really enjoy doing this technique. Um, I've been doing these a lot in my past couple builds and it just looks so good. Oh my gosh. I actually saw... Um, this from Hey Harry and from Ex Sorcerer as well. Those are the two people I saw this from. Um, and I'm putting in this beautiful like um, bar that came with Jungle Adventures. Unfortunately, that bar doesn't come with matching counters. That's why I don't really get to use that often, but that is such a beautiful, beautifully carved bar area, which I knew that I had to include. Um, so I'm just painting in the terrain paint and I'm just laying out these planter beds. Of course, I'm going to be filling these in. Um, most of it I will be doing off camera, but you guys will see a little bit of landscaping being done in just a little bit. Um, I decided to edit out most of the landscaping simply because it is quite repetitive and once you've seen bits of it, you would already get an idea on how it looks like. Um, so yeah, for this, I really wanted to make it more organic looking and like free flowing to contrast with a lot of the geometric shapes that we've been having. So I'm adding in these vines, I guess, bougainvillea vines in front because I feel like it was just a little bit flat and I wanted to have some decorative elements on that one empty wall right there. Um, I will say though that those bougainvillea plants are so, so difficult to incorporate because sometimes if you don't really place them properly, they can look really weird and kind of like, you know, um, cartoony in a not so good way. Um, so yeah, I tried my best to place them in a way that actually makes them fit in with this aesthetic that we're going with. Um, so landscaping wise, I was really, really happy with the landscaping. It doesn't really take away from the house. It really just complements it and brings out the beauty in this house. And at this point, I decided to also fence in the front area of this property because I feel like this would be so typical for like, you know, Hollywood homes to have like this beautiful like wrought iron gate leading to their driveway. I feel like I just 
had to include it somehow so um also of course for the sake of privacy and all of that stuff so yeah overall i was really happy with this landscape being um you guys can see a little bit of an idea from that right here uh, but yeah, I was super super pleased with putting in this fenced area in front because I felt like this just made the build look a little bit more realistic and I don't know, I, I'm really really happy that I was able to use that giant gate from vampires. And pretty much the last thing that we're going to be putting is this cars and I gotta say I am so excited to get cars in The Sims 4 but I think that is actually pretty much it for this build so I'm going to go ahead and wrap up my comments commentary right here. Once again, hopefully you guys enjoyed this build and if you did, please don't forget to help support the channel by liking, sharing, subscribing, and commenting on the video. Thank you guys so so much for watching. You all have an awesome 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 day. Enjoy the rest of the video and I will see you guys next time. Bye bye!